On the last episode of Kenshi, Pippi was sent into the hellscapes that is the barren wastelands of Kenshi, where she must deal with monsters, racist, sexist, white knights, and strange inhabitants that will make you scream for your fucking mother because holy shit, look at these fucking things. Though it seems as we have left her, she has been taking good care of herself, making new friends, fighting some hobos, you know, the good shit that you usually do. Also, spending a lot of time in the hub. Yeah, there... Th there's that. Will our hero, Pippi, be able to save the day? Or will she share the same fate of many others and die a horrible, horrible death? I'm kind of leaning on the ladder. Can I have my bagel now? You promised me a bagel if- And after a couple hours of dicking around and whatnot, we have gotten enough money to do the thing. And I have hiccups. That helps. Bartender dude. This guy's got a righteous beard. Love it. But for now, uh, we're going to spend all of our money, essentially, on joining these guys. We don't need to be super stealthy. Oh, whoa. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, you're, you're fucking dead. Okay. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you there. Sort of, sort of can't revive a corpse. Bye, pal. Pippi feels bad for you, but can't really exactly bury people in this. So you want in on the shinobi, eh? The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. They're nothing. Nothing a few cats can't handle. I wish to join you. You can join for a fee. That's it? I don't have to complete a test or something to prove myself? Do I look like I've got the time for handing out busy work? No, this is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee, 10,000 cats. So what will it be? Do you want to join the guild? Just for you guys. What do I get in return for all that money? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this one in lots of major towns. We watch each other's back, shinobi thieves stick together. It's a safe haven for you to rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use. You can sell your stolen items to our fence, and he also sells some hard-to-find specialist equipment at a huge discount. Yeah, Pippi is officially a shinobi thief, which is honestly for the best, considering, you know, we really have no experience dealing with anything. So, first things first, we got to train. Now here's another part where we get a training montage in. Yes, Ella, you're adorable. You're a cutie. This is Pippi. She's back. And right now, we're <laughs> having our ears. <laughs> All right, now that the demon has been locked out of the room, we can get back to what's truly pressing, getting some of our base stats up. The early part of this shit is gonna be pretty friggin' dull, because we don't do any fun in exploring. We just, you know, get a basic set of stats with which that we might even remotely hope to survive. Because I love, I love my waifu. I don't want her to die instantaneously. So I'm probably not going to bother getting everything up to max, but I do want to get this up to like 15 at least. So we're gonna finish that off real quick. It shouldn't take too long. It's going to start taking really long once we get to the end of the limits of the kit. Because this one goes up to a max of 20. Once you get to the last couple of points, it takes fucking ages. I mean, you could probably just go back and look at the thing. I was at three times speed and you saw how long it took to get to 18 assassination, let alone 19. Which I haven't even gone for. So we'll get 15 lockpicking and then we'll return to exploring. And by that, I mean we'll start exploring. Because we haven't done any real shit yet. And the second we really leave the hub area is the second we are super at risk of just getting murdered by whatever passes us by. But yeah, getting in with these guys is normally the right choice early on. So we can utilize these beds whenever we want to. We can't just steal their shit. 
I didn't even know it had like a cha-ching sound effect. That's cute. I'm so used to having like music and stuff playing when I do Twitch stream and whatnot. Not like I don't have music playing right now, but it's quiet enough that I can actually hear shit. All right, Pippi, let's get a move on. One of the areas that I've yet to truly explore in this game is mainly this southeastern region over here, which is where I slowly want to make my way to. Because I have a feeling that I've missed out on this notorious uh, and famous beep character because I've never really been down there. But everything in between here and there is supremely hostile, so we're going to need to think about this a little bit. This is the full map of the world. It's going to take time to travel. Before I can truly leave, I need to get more food because Pippi's hungry right now. Let's head over to the bar and uh, see what they got right now. Talk to Mr. Bro Beard over here again. What you got? I really want to use the Great Axe, but it would sort of eliminate the majority of the point of this goddamn playthrough. Uh, ration pack would be the ideal. I just am barely short of buying one. Like, I would have to sell all of my medicine, too. Or, like, I could sell the Naginata, but I don't want to do that. Uh, different different weapon types generally have different things that they're good against. The Iron Club is just sort of shit. The main reason I have it is because it has an indoors bonus, which this thing has an indoors penalty. So whenever you're fighting inside of a building, uh, using bigger, clunky weapon tends to fuck with you. Because, probably to represent the fact that, realistically, you wouldn't necessarily want to use a big-ass pull axe in the middle of your house for combat. You would get it caught on fucking everything, and it would be sort of not very useful. But if you had, like, a knife, you could maneuver it around everything so much better. I mean, straightforward. But what I want to do is I want to get one ration pack, so we're going to actually do a bit more manual labor. I'm going to mine, like, one more thing of copper, because that's all I need for this. Sell that. Buy that. Barely have any money, but now we have everything we need to start off, at least. So, Pippi, are you ready to venture out into the wide world of Kenshi? Oh yeah, this is something I should mention. I bought this small shack in the hub to uh, initially start off and streamline some of the crap, because mining copper is annoying when you have to manually tell them to go back and leave it. But if I just make this storage thing, I can set a job to automatically haul shit to it. So I did that. And so she would mine five, five copper from over here, fill up her inventory, and then go toss it in there. And that that was the, the repeated pattern. And then eventually I would just grab everything and go sell it. Now it's time to venture out. So we have bounties from the entirety of Okran. So we essentially can't head north whatsoever. Like, even upwards of here. And there are, like, some scattered camps of, uh, Holy Nation folks around the border zone. I think there are some mines around this greater area. So we need to, we need to be super cautious about that. Uh, we could head through Squin and then enter the swamp. I'm not exactly fond of that either, though, because the swamp... <sighs> the swamp has a lot of, uh, water and shit. Of course it does. That makes sense now, doesn't it? But what that does mean is that it means slow down for me, the newbie character who doesn't really have much, uh, you know, athletic skill to run away yet. Like, I have 15 athletics. Which is like the bare minimum I would require for me, but I'm not going to be able to do everything right. Um, so that's great. I think what we'll do is we'll head through the bare minimum amount there and head to Shem. So I'll set a marker uh, right here. And goodbye, hub. We may come back again at some point. I mean, the hub, as the name implies, is a pretty okay place to drop by every now and then given that it's relatively safe as a travel location. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. gotta be fresh. Who the fuck are you? What do we see? Starving bandits? Starving bandits. Okay. 
We're gonna sneak around a little bit then. Our weapons are our legendary sword, which is generally our best general combat weapon. Our uh, Nodachi, which has a little bit more reach and is much better for dealing with animals. It has a bonus for murdering wildlife. And uh, we have this little pipe, which is our weakest weapon by far, but won't like wreck us in like using it indoors. Time to take a swim. Ooh boy, we're swimming. Yeah, we're not really good at swimming. Especially when we're also trying to be stealthy while swimming. It's gonna slow us down. Alright. They're more than gone at this point. They're like way over there, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know what path we're taking. Pathfinding in this game, as I've alluded to earlier, is one of the worst parts about it. What can you do? Alright, yeah, we're completely ignoring those motherfuckers. See you later, starving motherfuckers! You know, the train here reminds me of, um, the Honest Hearts DLC in Fallout New Vegas. That's essentially what I think of when I'm around in the Borderlands. Minus, you know, the radioactive wildlife. Don't worry, we have stuff almost as equally as bad, if not worse, here. Considering you don't have, you know, guns to just shoot it away. There is a mod for this game that adds guns. I thought that would be, like, a little bit too overpowered. Are we going this way? Yeah, I think we're actually going to do the, um... I don't even know where we're pathfinding. Are we ignoring the roads now? One button click pathfinding is uh, some of the best shit you can run into. Strange, demented looking cacti. They just look like they're in pain. And me! You deserve to suffer like the rest of us. Out in the cold and the dark. How's our hunger and shit doing? We're doing all right. We still have more than half of our ration packs. So that should keep us going. And stat-wise, we're at full health across the board. Our athletics is going to slowly go up, too, which we need. Because, you know, when, when something wants to kill you and you're not strong enough to kill it back, you need to be fast enough to run away from it. You hear? We aren't really there yet. Like, we can outrun some basic bandits and shit, and that's about the extent of it. Anybody who's actually worth a damn in the fight will have more athletics than us and will just catch up and murder us. Even in, like, fully clad armor, which is the most hilarious part. Like, heavy armor will have a detriment to your athletic ability, like your ability to fucking sprint everywhere, but it's just not going to do enough to a fucking Holy Nation Paladin. They ain't going to give a shit. They're going to come and they're going to chop off your dick and feed it to fucking Okrin. Fucking overzealous religious bitches. Oh, hey, we're getting a glimpse of the swamp in the distance. Yep, as the whole entire swamp pops into view. What? <sighs> so what do you feel, Pippi? What are you thinking? We haven't had any dialogue. Then again, we don't have anybody to talk to. I think we're just sort of skimming along the swamp, which is probably better to be on it. Oh, she made a hard turn into the swamp. Okay. Yep, welcome to the swamp biome. What? I swear that when I first saw the swamp, it just reminded me, like some of the creatures and shit reminded me of like Samurai Jackass shit. It's crazy. It's pretty. It's also really, really fucking hostile. I don't want Pippi to die immediately to swamp goers. In fact, I'm actually going to manually kite along the edge of the swamp so that we don't, she doesn't feel tempted to go into the water. We're going to manually run, run along the edge of the swamp so that we don't, you know, run through this kind of water. So I don't want to deal with no fucking blood spiders catching up to me when I can barely move and murdering me and eating my flesh. No, we're not going through the swamp like that, Pippi. We're not going to do that. I do not trust the swamp with my life or yours. What? I'm surprised this isn't considered a dust storm right now. There are actually weather conditions that affect your, like, vision and navigation. Oh, hello. Oh. I just realized where the fuck we are. Um, okay. Definitely into stealth mode again. And I'm keeping an eye out for fucking beak things. What's a beak thing, you may ask? <laughs> ah, you naive fool. They're just long neck horses. Don't worry about it. Totally aren't worth anything of your time or concern. 
Yeah, we're not carrying too much, luckily. Oh! Crikey! What's that? This, my friends, is the face of death. You know not the suffering that comes to you. Should you ignore the deadly beak thing? Yeah, it's just a long neck horse. Don't even worry about it. You got nothing to fear. Except fear itself. It's too far away to probably spot me. Especially in the dark. Like this. Oh, hey, even more. There's a lone one, and then there's like another pack of three of them. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I don't- I don't exactly want to play with those guys. They'll outrun me, too. Yeah, they have like 34 athletics. They can outpace me. Pretty easily. There is a way to deal with them when they're chasing you, but it's still, uh, pretty fucking scary to have a beak thing bearing down on your ass. So we're just going to, uh, chill out with some of these old nomads for a little bit and do some sightseeing. How's that sound? This is... Oh. Well, it doesn't seem like they care much. Hello! Nomad's got Garu and Bone Dogs! Puppy! Oh. Puppy! Puppy puppy! It's a Bone Dog puppy! Hello! 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 Sadly, you cannot pet the bone dogs. The Kenshi devs advised against it when I asked about it. Said they tend to get a bit nippy. This whole place is so pretty. Just have to enjoy and admire some of the environments in this game, to be honest. Beak things still around. Oh, hey, traitors. Oh, that might, that might be a good opportunity, actually. Come on, Pippi. Gotta catch up. There's a trader caravan over here. Caravan of traveling nomads. Which means, if I follow along with them, then I'll have somebody else to utilize as shields and allies in combat should bandits come around. We'll be a bigger target, but I'll also be able to escape in the fray. So I definitely want to catch up with these nerds. It looks like they might have just been in a fight, actually. Yeah, they've just been in a fight. They're patching up. Oh, blood spider. Fucking blood spider. Pippi, can we reach the blood spider and loot it before? Oh, that's, that's not good. We're going to um flank wide around here. Those blood spiders are going to wake up. They're just unconscious right now. They will wake up and they will try and murder my shit. All right. This dude's the leader. No, you're not. You are. We're just going to tell Pippi to follow him. Whatever happens, happens. Yep, the blood spider is still 100% alive. Yeah, these are just nomads wandering about. Oh, they're 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 members of this town. They're patrolling. Okay. So these aren't exactly going to be the guys I wanted then. That sort of sucks a little bit. I was hoping that they were a traveling group that were going to be heading out of the area that I could follow, but no, they're just patrolling the region because of their uh, established nomad camp. Taking out the goats for a walk. Yeah, we have goats. Goats. Oh well. This will slowly build up our athletic skill still, so we can learn to be faster, go for a nice, nice brisk walk. Hello, folks. Who do we have here? We have Moo. <laughs> Moo is the one right in front of me. Pretty sure. Leader is Batai. There's a town called Shobatai in the northeast. It's a desert town. There's Hex. There's Feck. Feck you! And Lungrot. Um, that's a joyous name. I like how Feck and Rot Lungrot are the two just like holding up the back of the lines. Just like, well, this is my stake in life. Shit. <laughs> Ah, it sucks to be you. I didn't think blood spiders were out this far, though. Or the Garu, what are you doing? Katie, you got your face shoved a little bit too far up that Garu's ass. 